Let's turn now to our friends of the Reds. Before they talk, what have you noticed about Red behavior so far? Probably. Never said much. Look how professional they look. Look how nicely turned out they are. I would have to say you're the best dressed group this morning. <laughs> they jog. They made their calls at the break. They're sticking through that regiment, whatever it is. They sing hi-ho, hi-ho, as they came in. This is a professional group of people as opposed to the Greens up here. We'll talk about you in a minute. <laughs> Watch how it's done, everyone. Watch and, and observe. All right, emphasizing the efficiency. Lowering risk for the organization. Improving processes. Minimizing control to minimize risk. Increasing productivity. Emphasizing efficiency. Oh, come on, that was, that was awesome. That was nice. Go, you know, be doing, be doing more with less, being virtuous, following the rules, getting the procedure right, making sure we're not overspending, making sure that everything works the proper way, doing it on time, making sure that everything's running very well. Now you feel bad, don't you? Now you just feel bad about yourself because look at how they did it, right? You ever been to the meeting full of reds? Yeah. What goes on in the meeting full of reds? Tell me about the meeting itself. Did you walk into the winter garden here and everybody's huggy and healthful? There's What's the meaning? There's an agenda. There's an agenda. Yeah. Have you ever screwed with the agenda? <laughs> I think you have to go to the Pope to change the agenda. I'm pretty sure the Pope. Whoever has the tallest hat gets to make the agenda. And if you've got ten minutes, how many minutes do you have? Ten. And incidentally, Greens, I've got to tell you something. You know how you're always late to their meetings? They got a file on you like Jagger Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> on a dark road, on a dark night, we'll never hear from Jess again because the Reds have, the Red, they'll never forget. They know you're late and they hate you for it, right? <laughs> There's a long table in the Red meeting, isn't there? The long table. Who sits at the head of the table? Oh, that's right. The God, the Mother, God, the Father, whatever it is in you, the great chain of being. You know, cherubim and cherubim, all the way to lawyers at the other end. I mean, it's the great thing. And the closer you get to the top, the more the sun shines on your beautiful face, right? And it's very formal, and there's rules, and there's minutes. In fact, they'll send the minutes to everyone, because apparently everyone wants to know your silly little business. They'll spam you with their stupid minutes, right? These are the ones you've got in your spam file. I don't want to hear about all this crap, right? They love that stuff. How do they decide who becomes a leader? Oh, this is a big thing to rents. How do they decide? What? How do they decide, oh, okay, what? Rules. Who follows the rules? Rules, okay, the rules. Yeah, good, the rules, thank you. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that very well. Rules. They do the voting. Oh, they vote, yes, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of procedure to this, isn't there? Yeah, and how do they pick the leader, though? Have you done all the requirements? Have you done all the requirements? Are you, have you been certified? Are you certified? Do you have a, you have a certificate for that somewhere? Did you, did you observe the 12 steps and genuflect at the statue? And do the thing that you <laughs> yeah. You ever been in the Red organization? Oh, it's hilarious. You go and ask it to write it because it's all about hierarchy and competency. It's about checking you out. Go to a medical center. Say, who's in charge of the heart? And they'll say, uh, cardio, uh, they'll say cardiology or cardiovascular surgery? Uh, cardiology. They'll say adults or peds? Uh, adults. They'll say um, uh, left-handed people or right-handed people? Left-handed people. Normal nose hair or excessive? They says it goes, I don't know. <laughs> These are the guys on the airplane who talk about their, you know, they're 75 and talk about going to Hopkins. I'm like, you're 75, that was a long time ago, get over it, get over it, get over it. Not them. The Reds are all about that. They love to show you that, don't they? They love to show you all that certification stuff, right? What tools, methods, and processes do they use to improve the firm? And boy, they use them. Processes. Oh. Every process in the book. Now, you always know, you were saying, Six Sigma, that's a great one. Six Sigma, what other processes? Project Lean Project. Oh, if you're using Microsoft Project, they'll call you from a phone booth. Team. Oh, I guess I'm touching myself. I mean, they love having data. They love having data. Yeah, they're a data group. They're, they love things that have a lot of steps, don't they? They brag about them. Well, yeah, I'm running continuous improvement. i got 12 steps. You know, whether you're drinking or continuous, if you've got 12 steps or more, you're probably in the red territory. I'm, yeah, I'm running a BPI, i got 16 steps. I'm running an entire operating rhythm. There's 144 steps. I'm connecting everything into what I'm doing. Oh, it's just incredible, isn't it? Yeah. They also love, there's a very weird thing about reds. This is very hard for people to get. They're the cicadas of the organization. Now, you know what a cicada is? That prehistoric bug. Now, if you live in the north, the cicada... You don't see them, and every seventh year they show up and they make so much noise, seriously, you can't hear airplanes land. You can't hear jets on They make that much noise. 
It's true, isn't it? Cicadas make a lot of noise. Now here's the thing, why they're cicadas. Take a look at these guys, they're basically stingy and cheap. <laughs> Costco's having a sale on toilet paper, it's 50 cents off, their garage is full of it, right? <laughs> Look at it, totally cheap. They count the cars in the parking lot and they go over expense reports with a magnifying glass. They're cheap, 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 cheap. Now, why are they cicadas? Because every seven years they wake up and they make a huge technology spend. You ever see them do it? SAP for everyone! I'm going to build a plant 80 miles in from Bangalore. It's going to cost $300 million. And you go, what the hell happened to you guys? You went from being cheap to a huge technology spend, to a huge system spend. What have they been doing the other six years? Planning. They've been planning, that's right, planning. <laughs> Smithers, you know, look out the sun. That's why it's so surprising to the rest of us. Holy crap, they're gonna spend all of our money this year, right? So they love systems, they love technology, they love processes, one of the things they love, they love the org chart. The, the, the reds are the ones who show you the org chart, and you feel like your five-year-old who showed you a picture, and you go, is that Harry Potter? And he goes, no, it's Darth Vader, Dad. You go, oh, crap, I'm sorry I missed that one. You never know what they want you to see in the org chart. But they really believe that the structure of how everybody reports into everyone is really important. It's like Barbie's Playhouse or something. It's a little conversation area here. If we do, you know, oh, I didn't see that. So they're really obsessed with the structure. They're very obsessed with systems and processes and technology, stuff they love. Why do you get fired? Why do you get fired by a red? I'm, I'm going to ask the Greens. Why do you get fired by the Reds, Green? Because it's you who's going to get fired. Just in case you didn't get this. You didn't follow the rules. Now, by the time that they've come and told you that, and the security guard is escorting you out of the building with your plant, they've already been to see legal. So you're fired now. By the time you're fired, you're fired. And that's one of the big things they love to do. We'll talk about how to get them back in just a minute, incidentally. Now, now. Where do we find the reds in the firm? IT. 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 Legal. 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 HR. Engineering. Ops. Some parts of ops. ops. Some parts of HR that are technical. Yeah. Process improvement. Process improvement. Supply chain. Supply chain. Great. You find Quality. them in MIS, CIS, op, large scale operations. You find them in professions where there's a right way to wrong way. Doctors, lawyers, engineers. Accountant. They're not committed to the firm. They're committed to that school of thought, to that way of doing things. Now it's interesting. How do we know a red firm? There's three things you will always find in a red firm. You'll find at least two of the three in a red firm. Number one, they are almost always a firm that has a lot of scope and scale. I was pumping gas not too long ago with our oldest daughter, Marika, and it said on the British Petroleum sign in Canada that only 18% of every liter of gas went to the profits of the British Petroleum Company. And she said, Dad, isn't that great? Only 18% go to the British Petroleum Company. And you say, okay, daughter, we're now going to do an economics lesson. How many liters of gas do you think British Petroleum sells? <laughs> oh, my God, they're going to make $30 billion. Yes, daughter, that's how it works. It's a turnover business. Two, there's almost always a lot of complexity. Boeing is making the new Dreamliner. It has the fewest moving parts in modern aviation history. It has two and a half million moving parts. Right? A lot of things have to go right together to make that plane fly when I fly all around. Good for you guys. Final thing that always happens is failure is not an option. Failure is not an option. You don't operate the right way. You don't bring the space shuttle on the right way. You don't send the young men and women off to combat the right way. Bad things happen. Given those three conditions, scope and scale, complexity, failure is not an option, what kind of companies are red companies? Control companies. Military. Military, when it works. Pardon? Government agencies, when they work. Airlines, when they work. Medical. Medical, utilities, manufacturing. manufacturing. You know, this is Toyota. This is the challenge we talked about this morning. This is Boeing. This is the British Petroleum problem, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Right? This is the challenge. This is Dell Computer. My favorite red company, McDonald's, where some illiterate kid presses a cheeseburger button and simultaneously somebody shoots a cow in Argentina. Bang! And kind of everything in between happens. <laughs> Somewhere red is going, this is all happening beautiful. <laughs> Being beautiful. What value do they create? Why have these values? They're control freaks. Why have them? Consistency of process. Consistency of process, which we refer to as we refer to it as quality. 
the reduction of error, the consistency of process, quality, and what else do we get from them? Measurable and sustainable. Measurable and sustainable. We're mission focused. In your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for playing. Um, <laughs> it fits very good. But Occam's razor, it is more virtuous to do with less what can be done with more. Look at the way they're standing. That's right. Better, cheaper, faster, and higher quality. What else is there? Losers. Look at them. <laughs> their patrician gaze as they look imperiously down on the rest of us. So they're the efficiency and quality guys. Are they faster or are they slow? They're slow, but not as slow as these pathetic losers up here. They're slow, they're horribly slow. Are their approaches breakthrough or incremental? They're incredibly incremental, right? They'll say, oh, we made a huge change. We reduced operating expenses by 0.02%. You're like, oh, well, hold her, dude. She's heading for the bar again. Woo! And then they're like, yeah, but we did it everywhere. That's the big thing. A little bit, but everywhere. They show you their big muscles like this. What now? It's interesting because what's the other redeeming factor for, for reds? What's the big redeeming factor? They're risk-free. No risk. You know how tonight when you go out and have drinks, these guys will drive the Harley into the pool? You know? <laughs> these guys will not drive the Harley into the pool, but taken too far, this becomes a static bureaucracy. Let's give the Reds a round of applause for this.